Also joining us now is Republican Senator Kevin Kramer from North Dakota, who also serves on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Uh, Senator, great to have you on the show. I want to get your reaction to the video. Well, first of all, what I find refreshing about Benjamin Netanyahu's message is it's strong, it's articulate, you understand it, it's clear. And and quite honestly, the, the fact that the White House acts confused by the message or they don't know what he's talking about when he, talk about with, when he talks about withholding weapons, we all know what he's been withholding. There's been to one shipment point. of their one single shipment of 2,000 pound bombs that were paused because of Netanyahu's plan to go into Rafah. And they didn't want these massive bombs to be used in densely populated civilian areas. That's it. Included, included with that was, is the JDAM, the precision um, precision missile kit that makes these bombs from, from dumb bombs into smart bombs, which helps alleviate some of the collateral damage in, in the war. And I think it's, it's not insignificant that Joe Biden thinks he should be able to dictate the terms of how Benjamin Netanyahu executes a war in which his country, his country, his people were were killed in, in a mass way, in a horrible way, in a very violent way, in ways that we can't even imagine. And his, as far as his comparison to Winston Churchill, the circumstances are not all that different. Certainly the two people are different. But he, I think he's comparing that... You know, give us what we need. We'll execute the war. We're not asking you to execute the war. What about what, congressman, the what, about what the congressman just said? Israel has plenty of, of ammunition right now. And we have given them more than 100 shipments, totaling more than $12 sure. billion dollars in military aid. Nobody has given Israel more than this administration in the last few months. Nor, nor, should, nor should we. We should give them everything they need and give them the green light to do what they need. Look, the Middle East is complicated, for sure. But what's not complicated is that Israel is our friend. They're not our enemy. They're not our frenemy. They're not the occasional friend. They're a friend every single day of the week. Joe Biden is a friend one day, and then the next day he's pro-Palestinian. Then the next day he doesn't know what to do. He can't articulate a clear, strong message to the world, to our allies and our adversaries. And we're living at a time when there's great opportunity in the Middle East because the Arab world itself is looking for leadership. They're looking for which way to go. Some of them know where they are. Others are looking for a leader like the United States. And we can't send these conflicting messages to our to our allies and our adversaries. And Israel's just one of the many conflicts in the world that have broken out because of the weakness projected by this president. 